click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see different terms related or different definitions related to filters. We have seen the type of filters which are available, what exactly filter is. You can go for an active, you can go for a passive. But there are few parameters like we have discussed for OPAM. There are few characteristics need to be considered when you use OPAM or you design an OPAM. Similarly, when you use a filter or you want to design a filter, you need to have a knowledge of few parameters. So those parameters we are going to discuss in this video. So first I will list out how many parameters are there to be considered then we will learn one by one. So first one is a cutoff frequency or break frequency or 3 dB frequency. Cutoff frequency is for example if your filter is a low pass filter then till what frequency your filter should pass the signal that frequency which is decided and that frequency is known as a cutoff frequency. Second, bandwidth. Now, if it is a band pass filter, your filter is allowed to pass a frequency from X range to Y range. So, that X range to Y range will give you one particular range of frequency and that particular range is known as a bandwidth. Third is a pass band. The range of frequency or the band of frequency which are allowed to pass through the filters are known as a pass band. Then you have a stop band. Stop band that means the frequency range which is stopped or blocked by the filter is known as a stop band. Then you have a center frequency. Center frequency is the frequency where the maximum gain can be occur. Transition band where the transition from transition is taken from high to low or low to high. That means your gain is taking a transition from one state to another state that is known as a transition band. Then quality factor. What is the quality factor? Every device should have a good quality factor. That means what is the output of that particular device for the specific given input. Whether that input get affected in which manner it is affected that the quality factor will decide. Roll off rate. Roll off rate is how your gain is increasing and it is decreasing. So that rate of change of gain of a filter can be uh, summarized as a roll off rate. So let's see first one cut off frequency. It is a frequency at which the power delivered to the load reduced to 50% of its maximum value. The voltage gain at 3 dB frequency is 0 0.70 times or 70.7 percentage of the maximum gain. For example, if you take the example of a low pass filter. So low pass filter is having, this is a high pass filter. So this is the frequency response of a high pass filter and I will write this point is equal to cutoff frequency. So that means you can see this is the gain of an filter and this is the point where the frequency, the gain, this is the gain and this is the frequency. So here you can see at this particular point, this is the maximum gain and your gain is reduced to the 50% or you can say 0.70% or 3 dB down. So this particular point is known as the cutoff frequency. For low pass filter, if the filter gain is like this, this is the maximum gain and this is the point where your gain is come at a 3 dB point and this point is known as a cutoff frequency of that particular filter. Now when we see the frequency response of a different filter you will understand what is the cutoff frequency is. So basically you remember if the voltage gain of a filter will comes 3 dB frequency and that is the called as the cutoff frequency. Second we have a bandwidth. It is defined as the difference between high cutoff frequencies and lower cutoff frequencies FL. For example, if I have a band pass filter and for band pass filter, my frequency response will be like this. So here I have a cutoff frequency. For example, it is FH and this is FL. So basically this is a combination of a low pass and high pass. This is the gain and this is the frequency. So the difference between FH and FL, suppose 
or you can write this as a FL and this as a FH. So you can write in vice versa because it is up to you for which filter you are writing a cutoff frequency. So for example, if I have a 10 kilohertz and here if I have a 50 kilohertz. So 50 kilohertz minus 10 kilohertz will give me the bandwidth that is equal to 40 kilohertz. So for this particular filter, I have a bandwidth is equal to 40 kilohertz. So it can be defined is as the difference between higher frequency, higher cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency. The third one is a passband. The range of frequencies which are transmitted without attenuation. For example, for low pass filter, if cutoff frequency is 10 kilohertz, that means from 0 hertz to 10 kilohertz, your frequency will get passed. But after 10 kilohertz, the frequency will get blocked. So that 0 to 10 kilohertz frequency band is known as a pass band. Stop band, the range of frequencies which are attenuated. So after 10 kilohertz, your frequency will get blocked or they will attenuate and then they will pass. So that is known as a stop band. Fifth is a center frequency. It is the square root of the product of higher cutoff frequency and the lower cutoff frequency. Similarly, the diagram I have shown you where you have a higher cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency. So if you take the root of the product of higher cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency, that is nothing but the center frequency. Transition band. It is the difference between the stop band and cutoff frequency. For example, if I have the low pass filter is like this. So from you can see since it is a low pass, it will start from a zero hertz, zero frequency. Here I will draw it is a cutoff frequency which is equal to 10 kilohertz suppose. This is a frequency range and this is the gain range. Now here the gain is maximum till 30 kilohertz but after 30 kilohertz my signal will get attenuated so the gain is decreasing. Now this transition is having from this point to till this point it is taking a transition. So this particular band is known as the transition band. Then seventh is the quality factor. Quality factor, it is defined as the ratio of center frequency F0 to the 3 dB bandwidth of the filter. The quality factor is a measure of selectivity of the filter. Now selectivity is a term which is also similar. You need to tune the filter to particular frequency. So that is nothing but the selectivity. So basically you select that particular frequency or the frequency range to tune that filter. So quality factor can be defined as a center frequency divided by bandwidth where bandwidth can be written as higher cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency. The next one is roll off rate. It is the rate at which the gain increases or decreases while the input frequency approaches or exit the cutoff frequency. Now here you can see this is the diagram drawn for the frequency having a low cutoff frequency and high cutoff frequency. Now if you see at this particular point where it is your input frequency is reaching at lower cutoff frequency, at this point your gain is increasing till the cutoff frequency. Then after cut up to the center frequency, from center frequency it will again start decreasing till the higher cutoff frequency. Again from higher cutoff frequency your gain will further decrease. So basically this is the roll off rate of the filter. So the roll off rate is nothing but the increase or decrease in a gain when the input frequency reaches to the higher cutoff frequency or lower cutoff frequency. So these are few parameters which need to be considered when you design a filter. So you need to select a component in such a way that you will have that particular frequency range to filter to be tuned on or if you are using any filter for particular application according to the application you need to know this term so that the appropriate filter can be used or appropriate filter can be choose for that particular application. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.